Hey everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back to Minecraft How to Build a Medieval Village. As always, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm doing pretty good, just getting over a bit of a bug, but I'm slowly on the mend, so that is all good. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a bit more building in our medieval village. And before we get started, I thought I'd just go over with you with a few plans that I have planned for the next few episodes in this series. So, first things first, in the last episode we did get this nice medieval house done. And I'm really happy with the turnout of this. I really like the look of it and the kind of, kind of shape that it's taken place. And yeah, it's looking really cool. Anyway, so in today's episode, we're going to work on the barn over here, which is going to be um, quite big. And it's going to be a very basic design, but it's going to look pretty cool. It'll fit with the build. It's going to be a very good blend with the build. Anyway, I've been making a few plans and a few layouts for a few things. So let's quickly just go over the plans. So this big yellow outline, as you can see, is going to be for a massive wheat field that we're going to have in place. Now, most of this is probably going to be done off camera because it's going to just take way too long to do on camera and it will probably be a very boring video. So I will do most of that off camera, but we will be doing a little bit of work on it along with like a wall going around it and so forth. Um, but that will we get to at some point. Anyway, the red dots, as you can see, that run all the way around, these are going to be pathways. Now these pathways are probably going to be made up mostly of grass blocks, cool dirt, maybe a little bit of podzol, you know, just that kind of them rustic blocks, just to give it a bit of a kind of, um, I don't know, like a kind of old worn look. Uh, so it should look pretty good. Anyway, this path here, it looks like it stops it, but we are going to actually continue it. It's going to run around this little canal edge here, all the way to this end here, and it will run around this other side of it here. But then it will kind of dart off over here because we're going to have a few houses here, which I'll get to in just a moment. Now, the path also runs all the way along the canal, which I did finish putting in these walls. And I am going to texturize these walls and make it look a lot nicer. This is just a basic layout of where the walls are going to go. And it is actually going to spread a lot further. It's going to run all the way out to the ocean, which is kind of just over those hills at the back there. It's not too far. So we're going to run it pretty far and I'm probably going to open it up a little bit because here it goes really narrow. So we're going to make the, the water sort of run all the way across and we'll have to open up this area here, make it less narrow so that it kind of blends in just a little bit nicer with everything. Anyway, so over here where the wheat field is, this is all going to kind of be like the countryside just outside of the town. Now, I'm probably going to have a windmill somewhere around here because we've got the big wheat field. So I will have a windmill somewhere. I'm not quite sure whereabouts I'm going to place it at the moment. I'm tempted to place it over here. I think it would look pretty good here. But I think it would also look pretty good over here near the barn. Maybe kind of just across the bottom of this hill here maybe. So we'll have to see. But we will get to that at some point. There is a bit more work to do on this house as well. I've got a few things just to kind of decorate it up and make it look nice from the outside. I'm going to put maybe a pumpkin or a melon patch down here with a little bit of a garden. Um, and yeah, I've got a few ideas. So we'll get to those in just a moment. We're also going to make a stairway down the back here, which is going to come down towards the bridge and connect everything up nicely. Now, we're going to have this canal obviously running down here. And it's actually going to go underneath a big platform that we're going to have in place here. And it's going to come out this side here as well. So it's going to run right through. And we will make sure that the water stream runs all the way through as well. So that you can actually go through with a boat if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Now this platform up here, I'm not too sure what it's going to be. I'm debated between a town square and maybe kind of like a little... Like a, a more expensive house in area. So like these houses here will be a bit bigger and a bit more luxurious than the other houses that we're going to have dotted around in this area. Now, I want houses around the water's edge as well because I kind of want them... I want from this side of the water, I want it to look a bit built up. So the idea is going to be that these houses are going to kind of block you seeing into the village too well. But it's going to make it look very built up. So it's going to look really cold from the outside. 
And as you come in, it'll open up and you'll have houses all over the place and a lot of stuff going on. This here is going to be a church. We're going to have a church here. We'll probably have like a little garden next to it here, like a little resting area for people to sit down and maybe have a think or stuff. And we are going to have a graveyard somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to put it because we've got the church right here. We might possibly make a bridge and make one maybe up here. This could be quite a nice location to make a bit of a graveyard. I think it would look pretty good. So that might be an idea. And then we're going to have a load of other houses and that around here. And there's going to be a lot of little things like blacksmiths and maybe a bakery and a butchers and all them kind of little kind of shops that we're going to have around the area. So that is my plan for for things for the probably for the next few episodes, maybe even a bit longer. It depends how long all of the building takes place. But as you can see, guys, there's going to be plenty of ideas along the way. Now, a lot of these builds ain't going to be any step by step tutorials because we're going to just be building. It's kind of more of an inspiration series than a build series to learn from. But if you guys would like to see anything that I build in a tutorial, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to give you a full on tutorial on exactly how to build it. I am going to do a tutorial for this church that we're going to build here. This is going to be a tutorial at some point. Um, but yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And there's a lot, I've got lots of tutorials and guides coming over the next couple of weeks as well, guys. So be sure to look out for those. Anyway, with that being said, let's crack on and do a little bit of building. So let's start with this barn. I've got a few ideas for this and I have done a little bit of testing in creative. So I kind of got an idea what to do. I think we're going to go... Should we go five high, I think? Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to go with five. I think that's quite a good height for the front of this barn. Because what we're going to do, if we bring these all level. So this one here, this will actually be higher. So there's going to be a lower part of the front here. And then it's going to be higher at the back. So I think for here we're going to do this. And connect these up like so. Okay. So like I said, the front here is going to have a lower bit where the roof comes over here. There's going to be like a, a small triangle roof done with slabs. We're not going to use stairs for this one. Now, once it gets to here, we're going to make it come up a little bit. Maybe another four blocks, I think. Let's extend this over here just to kind of just to section it off a bit. Yeah, I think four blocks would do with that and we're going to do the same here. Yeah, I think we're going to go like that. All right, guys, so I've laid a one block line all the way around the inner edge. As you can see, that's what we got for the inside here. And I've left this front bit all open here. I ain't put it in front of these pillars either. We didn't put none in there. We're keeping that open as well. This is going to be the doorway to the barn. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to literally just fill this all the way up to the edge here. Because uh, this is going to be where we're going to put a... Well, this side is actually going to be where the roof is going to start. But on the inside here, we're going to put a little walkway around the edge and make a second platform. Which I think will be pretty cool. Now I'm debated. No, no, no. We keep, we keep with the spruce. I was debated about changing the color, but I think we'll stick with the spruce. I do like the spruce wood. All right, guys. We are back, and the wall is all in place, and it's looking pretty good actually. I do like that bottom wall. That looks pretty cool. Now, next thing we're going to have to do is actually put in the next floor walls, which are going to actually be white. And we're going to use the bone block for this, but I'm debated. Really, I think we're actually, I need to actually fill this edge in here. Because I, wasn't, I don't want to take it right up to the edge, because if we do, it's going to just not look so nice. So, for instance, if I was to place these blocks like this on here, and I made a window like this, let's have a quick look at how it would look. 
So you'd have something like that. You know, so it, it's going to just be right up close and it's not going to look that great. But if we take it away for a second and we were to place it here. Keep it on the same side. As you can see, we get a nice bit of depth into the build here. And we could put like uh, some grass across here with some trap doors on it. And kind of make a nice little plant pot just to make it kind of look a little bit nicer. So I think we're going to go with that. So let me just quickly run this just around this inner edge. So we're going to go around and get all of this in place now. Probably easier to just put them all in like that and then break out those. All right, guys, that is all done. Now, I think what we're going to quickly do is we're going to run a log all the way across here. Because this is going to be where the side is going to be to make a little kind of balcony. Do the same from this beam here. Just across to this one here. Maybe we'll even fill that in there. Rather than giving it spruce wood. There we go, that looks a bit better. And then we'll even go one, two, three, about there, because we're going to put some spruce wood in there in a moment. Right, okay, that's looking pretty good. I like the shape of that. We've got our windows down the side. Now, as you can see, guys, I didn't put no windows in the front here or at the back. I don't think it needs it. I think it's better without. So we're going to go with this like that. Right, now let's put some cobblestone slabs around this edge like so up to about there then we're going to come in by one and we're going to just slowly step these if we can get them in place right let's uh slowly step these up just like this don't really like i said i don't really want a big roof for this it's a barn so it's not meant to have a big roof i was debated if to put one of those big round roofs and i built a version of it with the round roof which did turn out really cool um, but yeah, I think I prefer this one. It kind of just blends in with the house a lot nicer. So this was my favorite design. But I probably will be doing a tutorial for that barn because it was a nice barn. It just didn't fit with this build. Right, okay. So that's a nice simple roof. We're going to do exactly the same on the top of this barn here as well. So we're going to start from the corner here. We'll overhang it by one. And then just slowly step these all the way up. Right until we get to the center, which I think is this one here. Do the same on this side. And I've got a thing with the roofs, guys. I love making little uh, edges around roofs. I think they just look really nice. So I like to go around with like a different block. Like If you was using oak wood, then maybe do a spruce wood edge. Or if you was using spruce wood, you could do an oak wood edge or cobblestone edge. Thing, just round the edge it just kind of i don't know it just really sets the roof off and just gives it a really kind of unique look all right guys we're back and as you can see i've gone ahead and i filled the roof in as well as doing the little edge now i'll just quickly show you in case you're wondering it's really simple all you got to do is where your slab is you put another slab on the top and you literally just connect them all the way down all the way and just basically just join them up if i can place them that is there we go and then we just do the last one which is going to be all the way down here now don't worry about the inside because we're going to neaten that up in just a moment so don't worry too much about the inside oh, if we can get these in place there we go right so you just basically run them all the way from one side to the other, exactly what I've done here. And I have filled this little triangle in here, but I'll show you exactly what we've done in here. So, basically, just get your logs and put two. Uh, this one you put three, two, and then one, and one. Now, you can't put nothing in that corner there, so you'll have to put in one of those, like so. Then you can put a couple in here and in here. 
This is the bone block again, by the way, guys, just in case I didn't mention it. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. And then just fill your gaps in here like so. Now, obviously, it doesn't look the nicest from the inside when you see it like this. But what you can do, which I always do, is first thing I do is I bring, I bring this out here. Just to kind of separate the wood from the uh, from the roof, and I do this all the way around the edge, just like that. Now, in this edge here, I will fill this with bricks. If you're using a different uh, roof block, then uh, just go ahead and use that one. Do the same on this side here as well. And I mean, it doesn't look too bad at the moment, but what I often do is I will bring it out further again. One more. And if you're in survival, this is probably a good idea to do this as well, because it has stopped mobs from spawning on this platform and stop you having to put torches on there to stop them from spawning at least. Um, do the same thing you just done and fill the little gaps in here. That brings it all level and that makes it kind of it'll stop any mobs from spawning on there. Now what I tend to do is just in the corners is just place one right in there, one little slab. Kind of like that and I think it just looks nicer when you look at it from the inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing on this side here. And that just kind of neatens it, it just makes it look a bit nicer. You know, just kind of hides the nastiness around the edge of the build. Alright guys, on the inside of the barn, I've just done the same thing. So you can see it is all done like so. And it looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to grab myself some spruce slabs. We're going to use some of those. And we're just going to basically make a little floor level just in here. Just a nice, quick and easy floor level. Nothing too much. And like so, there we go. And we're going to just fill this bit in here. Now, before I fill the other part in, guys, I'm going to grab myself some torches and just brighten it up in here because it's very dark and I don't know how well you guys can see. Right, okay, so that's the upper floor done in here. Let's go ahead and put in some windows, which I'm going to use the spruce fences for. Did I say fences? Fences. I think I just messed that one up, guys. Spruce fences. Um, we're going to put those just in the gaps here. Fill in for windows. Now, if you want, you can put glass in here. But I think for a barn and for a medieval build, I just think the spruce fence just looks pretty cool. Right, last, we're going to just put two of those there. And then just put a little fence all the way around the edge. And we will be putting a ladder so that we can get up here in just a moment. And I think we'll just grab a couple of cobblestone slabs. And bump and bump. Perfecto. Alright guys, now down the bottom here, all I've done is I've placed some pillars which are straight from this block on the corner here at the back. So if we go to the back here, you can see there's a pillar there. It goes all the way down to the ground. Then there's a three block gap, another pillar, three block gap, pillar, and all the way down to about here. And then here, we've just kind of just finished here really. So at the front of the barn, when we come in the barn, as you can see, we've got like a bit of an open space here for storing stuff. And then kind of up here will be kind of just like sections. So I think first things first, we're going to just go around, just place a few cool stir, kind of just a little bit mixed up and kind of random really. Nothing organized. So just something kind of like this. So just go around the whole of the barn and kind of really just mess up the ground, add some cool stir. You can also add some podzol. We've got some podzol here. Um, I actually made my podzol a little bit lighter, so it kind of blends in with the, the cool dirt really well. All right, guys. And once you're done, you'll have something that looks a bit like this. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've placed a few hay bales and stuff around, along with some uh, some chests and some note blocks. 
and a couple of cauldrons with a bit of water in it just to kind of just make like make it look like it's been used and make it look a little bit kind of a uh, bit roughed up but yeah i think that looks pretty good and i'm pretty happy with the turnout for that so i think we're gonna leave that as it is that's turned out pretty good now the one last thing that i had done um which i thought looked pretty good but it will depend on which trap doors you actually have so i like the jungle trap doors um, especially in my texture pack so if I go ahead and I've done this and just cover all of this with trap doors all right guys and as you can see that is looking pretty good so we're gonna go and neaten this up a little bit further now if we can so what we're gonna do we're gonna come here break all of these stone buttons off the edge of these logs just break all of them and then we're going to just extend each of them all the way across to there. Just like that. And we're going to do that on all of these. And this is going to give us a nice kind of like walkway. And we're going to fill it with vines and bushes. And it's going to look awesome when it's done. So let's do that. That. And the last one. There. As you can see, it gives us a nice little walkway all the way down, which looks pretty good. So I'm going to start off with some dark oak leaves. Um, there's not a lot of difference. If you look, there's not much difference between these two leaves. They're very similar, just a little bit darker and a bit lighter. So we're going to just randomly splat these about. Um, something kind of, kind of like that. Just like dot them around. But make sure you don't put them in here because we are going to have our grass with some trapdoors. Maybe if we do that first, it kind of will help us avoid doing it wrong. So put some of those in there. The way across. Just like so. And then we're going to just go like that. And all the way across, last ones. Okay, so now we've got our nice little trapdoors there that just look really cool on the barn. I'm tempted to change these ones here as well because um, uh, they actually look quite nice. Does that look out of place? Nah, nah, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave these ones on here for now. They look pretty cool. We might change them up at some point, but uh, for now they can stay as they are. Anyway, let's carry on with the leaves. We're gonna just scatter these across, kind of in a random pattern. Bring some down here. A couple down here. Uh, we're gonna make some bushes on the inside as well in a minute, but for now, just want to randomly scatter these. It's kind of to kind of give it like a vine look. You want it to look a bit more like vines than anything else. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that'll do nicely. And then we're just going to change a few of them out for some of the lighter ones. Think kind of kind of along those lines that looks pretty good and then grab some and just kind of just the odd one just bring it down by one or two blocks you can even drag it in there like that been into the corner one there just so like it looks a little bit overhung or overgrown should i say yeah something kind of like that then just grab your vines and just drop your vines around on it wherever you can now they will scatter about so be careful that you don't place them in too many places you want to have enough room to still get past um do it on here as well if you can on a few of these spots all right guys there we go we've added in all the vines and look how nice that looks now 
it makes such a difference. I know it's very green, but I mean, it just really kind of brings a bit of the build to life, I think. You know, and you know, this you can break any away that you're unsure of. And as you can see, if we go around the front here as well, guys, I did dangle them up onto the building a little bit. If you see, they, they kind of come up here a little bit. Also come down here. Uh, just added a bit of feet, bit of a nice kind of feature to the build. I may even spread them kind of up here onto the roof here at some point. But for now, I think we're going to leave it like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, now we're going to do another very similar thing just over here. So let me grab my dark oak wood again. And we're literally going to break all of these buttons down this side. Right. So, what have we got? One, two, three, four. Is it five? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, four blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, we're just going to bring the, all of these out. Just like so. And then just join this up. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing that we just done on the other side. So I literally bring all of these posts up, put them in place, hang some vines over it and make it look nice. Okay. And like so. And then I think what we will do here is we're going to actually just bring this out by one like this as well. I think it just gives it a little bit of kind of a bit more like a supported look. Yeah, that looks good. Right, let's get some vines in place and see how they look. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy with the look of that so far. Uh, it would look better once all the um, all the vines start dangling down. Uh, we did actually forget to do a couple under here. So let's go something like that. couple in there and something like that and I think that will be good yeah that'll be good once all those vines start coming down that should look pretty cool right let's uh, go ahead and put some buttons just on the tips of these now, as you can see guys if you do it right you can make it look really nice by making like a like a hanging piece of uh, of vines like that Looks really good, and then a piece having, hanging just over the front of it. So, makes it look really cool. Right, let's just stick some stairs just in between those. I think it just adds just a little bit of design. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Right, I'm just going to grab myself a few more blocks again, guys, because I keep moving them around. Um, I will be doing some texturization like I keep saying, but uh, we're going to do that... Probably in another episode because I don't want to don't want to take up all the time in this episode. Right, let's come across like so. This is going to be the ground level, so we just come across like that. And I think if we get some slabs, probably do something a bit like that. Maybe even bring it onto that one. Just to give it a smoother slope down. Because we're going to put a wall across this. Right. Let's get some dirt. And we'll probably get ourselves a shovel. And just we're going to just fill this bit in here. So we can kind of put the path just on the top here. And then I suppose we could just... Some stairs like that. Would that look alright? Maybe. Maybe something like that. I think that looks okay. Alright guys, check it out. It actually turned out really nice. I absolutely love the way this has turned out. This has turned out even better than I expected. Um, we've had a little pumpkin patch down here as well. And we've got this really nice little pathway at the top here that comes underneath with all of the uh, vines and stuff, which looks really cool. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the turnout of this. We've got a nice little stairway that comes down here, and it runs nicely around the edge, as you can see, to the other side here. Now, over here, we probably should connect this up as well. So, let's quickly take that. 
And what we'll do is we go one, two, three, and then we'll kind of do something a bit. Okay, a bit like that for the moment. We will get around to making this look a bit better at some point um, by adding more dirt and stuff. And we are going to obviously, obviously add this wall in here to make it higher. A wall to go around, like a little safety wall. Um, I've got a few ideas for that, but I'm not sure which one we're going to go with just yet. So we'll see how it goes. I've got a few plans and stuff. A few plans for things that I want to do with this build. And it's just, uh, it just not coming together as fast as I want. Let's uh, go a little bit further. About that. Okay, we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure how this wall's going to stay. But we are going to work out a nice way to blend the wall in with this wall around here. Obviously, we still got to get a stairway in down here and a pathway and everything else. All of the walls that are going to go around by the canal. Um, there is so much stuff, guys. I've got so many ideas and just not enough time to get it all done. But, guys, look at this house. Look at this. This just looks awesome. I love the look of this. Yeah, this just looks great. I really, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. Um, really happy. I'm thinking that these trapdoors top, across the tops of these are probably going to be changed. Probably to the spruce ones. So let's grab those. I can quickly do that now before we finish up this episode. And then let's grab some of those and that should be good. So let's quickly change these out for spruce wood. I like the jungle ones better, but they don't blend with the other build properly, I don't think. So I don't want to overdo, overdo it and make it look a bit funny. So let's do that. That ah, that wasn't meant to happen. Is that back there? One, two, and three. Okay, excellent. Right, let's go one there, one, 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 kind of like that, and then we can go like this. There we go, and let's have a look from a little bit of a distance, not too far. Yeah, look at that, that looks awesome. Excellent, I'm really happy with that. Okay guys, I think we're going to have to call it an episode just there because although we haven't done an awful lot, we've only really built this barn, the hangover at that side and the hangover at this side, but this has run a lot longer than I planned for this episode, so we're going to have to call it a day there I think. Next episode, I'm, I might go and see what I can do with these canal walls here. See if I can work something out for here. And I might do this bridge build off camera. Build a bridge here. I'm not too sure if I will or not yet. We'll see what happens. Um, and I might just do a few little bits here and there. Just to kind of organize things. Not necessarily building things. Just kind of organizing layouts. And things that are going to be a bit boring. Maybe I'll start doing this wheat field over here as well. Um... But yeah, guys, I think we're going to call it an episode just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have got any ideas for the builds that you'd like me to do in this series, be sure to let me know in the comments. Um, it would be really nice to hear from you guys and just to know what you think of the build so far. And like I said, if you've got any ideas, let me know because I'll be happy to add them into this city. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks again. I really do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. But with that being said, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.